Hi everyone, welcome to Private Youth, Alexander McKendricks, The Lady Killers from 1955. Um, so yes, back again, and uh, today I must say straight away, a very, very special film uh, you know, to discuss. Um, you know, a film that I saw for the first time um, around about a week ago now actually, and I uh, just had an absolutely um, wonderful experience with this. Um, a film that I've been looking forward to seeing uh, for so many years, and uh, yes, there will be spoilers, I will say that now, um, you know, in this discussion, uh, so everything's in this film, I simply recommend watching it first uh, and then come back to this discussion, uh, review if you want, and uh, yes, we can go from there, um, because this won't be an analysis video, um, you know, a massive kind of uh, detailed um, you know, video perhaps, but we'll be uh, kind of discussing um, different plot points, and uh, yes, with that said, um, what a film, <laughs> you know, what a film indeed, um, we'll quickly note, uh, I'd seen uh, before this, you know, I'd seen the remake, um, you know, the kind of the version by the Coen Brothers, um, obviously, and uh, you know, I really liked that film. Uh, I thought it was very solid and um, just very charming, um, you know, despite, of course, its reputation. Uh, but you know, this one here is the one that I'd already, already kind of um, looked forward to um, for a number of years um, before seeing it, and uh, this is the one that I really was um, very much interested in. Um, and of course, yes, what a wonderful film! Um, you know, a comedy, um, a thriller, um, of course. A drama and um, just a very surreal, um, you know, kind of wacky film, uh, and it's just so unique. This um, very particular level of um, British humour, um, but it's a very, you know, such an interesting film. This uh, the way this is directed and um, just the actual the situations and how um, you know the kind of tone is um, throughout the film. Uh, it's just so, you know, at times masterfully directed um, by Alexander McKendrick. Um, obviously. I'd never seen um, any of his other films before, um, you know, kind of watching this. So it was great um, to kind of start with this film uh, because I absolutely loved this film. Uh, what an experience. Um, yeah, such a warm, uh, kind of comforting film. Uh, you know, it's just a film that I, I, it feels like, you know, I was kind of returning to this, um, you know, in a comforting way. And I'd never seen this before. Um, so it's a really just instantly kind of, um, I loved this film and uh, really uplifted um, the night and um, you know lovely lovely film uh, very short film um, but it feels um, like we cover so much kind of ground um, the character working here um, you know just such a great script um, masterful script um, no doubt and uh, just these characters um, five main characters of course um, you know, basic plot uh, Mrs. Wilberforce though um, you know kind of she rents out uh, rents out different rooms and um, you know of course very early on, we see her, um, you know, kind of uh, discussing um, things with the police, and um, she kind of is known to be um, someone who always reports, um, you know, kind of um, activity in the area, <laughs> you know, if you like, and it's kind of around the King's Cross area, and um, you know, she's a very charming way in which she's portrayed. Um, but yes, we have kind of um, her reporting things at first um, to the police, and it's a very um, particular kind of um, relationship she has with the police and uh, it's very nice to see you know, this kind of charming way in which um, it opens the film very peaceful very um, kind of easy opening um, sequences and um, then of course very gradually um, we see these five main characters though um, of course leading the the kind of um, the group um, you know these kind of people um, that are um, kind of um, planning to um, you know, commit this heist, um, leading them, Professor Marcus, and um, of course played by Alec Guinness, and um, for me one of the best actors of all time, and uh, obviously as well Peter Sellers in this film, uh, another one of my favourite actors, um, no doubt, and uh, just, you know, what a legendary cast here, Herbert Lom as well, and um, you know, just, wow, uh, but Professor Marcus um, he kind of appears at first, and um, you yeah, go straight away, um, just seeing Alec Guinness in this role, um, you know, it's just, it's very different, very, very different to um, any of these other performances um, that I've seen. And, uh, you know, as much as I love um, Alec Guinness in, in everything I've seen him in, um, you know, literally, um, you know, he is very, very different here. And um, this could be one of my favourite, um, actually, no doubt, performances from him. And it's just so wacky and um, just um, you know, strange, this performance, um, this character. Um, but he perfects this role, um, masterful performance um, by him. And he carries the film, really. Uh, but, you know... Um, Katie Johnson as well, um, who plays Mrs. Wilberforce, um, you know, is just so, so key to this film, um, you know, really the heart of the film, uh, you know, just someone who, um, you know, these characters, Professor Marcus especially, they don't suspect her to be, um, you know, any threat to their plan, um, but of course, the irony is, um, she is um, someone who actively reports, um, you know, things to the police, and um, they kind of, they think, um, you know, it's all going to go, uh, going to go according to plan, and uh, they can be, you know, fine and kind of safe, um, you know, in this kind of 
in this location. Um, she rents out different rooms, uh, and of course, they they kind of use her um, you know her place as yes part of a plan. And uh, they pose though to her, um, you know, as these uh, musicians and. Uh, those that you know they're just practicing, um, you know, in the room, and uh, you know, of course, they don't actually play the instruments, um, but they kind of have, you know, music on in the background, and it kind of um, a very, very famous, of course, classical piece, as we know. Uh, but yes, just every time, of course, she comes into the room at first, um, they kind of, they, they, they kind of um, go back to their positions and um, as if they were playing the instruments, and uh, it's just so funny um, to see, and uh, just so perfectly timed, um, you know, all these different scenes, in, you know, in the house, and uh, just. Wow, um, the comic timing here um, that is just so great to see. Um, you know, it's just so perfect. Um, you know, in the kind of the way in which um, we have these characters introduced and um, you know, these five main characters. Um, you know, all very very different. Um, you could say all very unique and um, you know compelling and just kind of legendary, really, in their own right. And um, of course, especially though Harry, um, played by Peter Sellers, and um, yes. Uh, of course, Professor Marcus, um, played by Alec Guinness. These are my two favourites. Um, but you know, I love all of them. Um, Louis as well. Um, you know, played by Herbert Long. Um, you know, he is so so good in this film. And uh, you know, Major Courtney as well, played by um, Cecil Parker. And um, you know, they're so 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 good in this film. Uh, one round as well. Um, great characters. All five of these characters. Um, you know, are kind of criminals. Um, you know, it's just so lovable in their own way, and just so kind of, um, you know, just so compelling. Um, you could say, yes, Louis is um, perhaps the, you know, the villain of the film, uh, if there was one, uh, you know, you could say they're all crim uh, criminals, um, but, you know, Louis is the one um, who is very, very um, disturbing, um, you know, right off the bat, and uh, he kind of slowly um, becomes more, um, you know, impatient, I guess, with kind of Mrs. Wilberforce and uh, just the, the actual plan of this, um, perhaps not going too well, um, or as um, as they had planned um, and kind of outlined, um, you could say, and of course, here's the one though, um, yes, Louis, who um, really kind of becomes unhinged and, um, you know, kind of in the end, you know, all these characters, as we know, um, are killing each other off and, um, you know, it's just, it's so, um, you know, it's, it's one of the most um, hilarious films that I've seen yet, um, you know, I really feel, um, you know, so much kind of sadness um, in the end for these different characters and because uh, they're so lovable at the same time as being, you know, kind of, um, you know, you kind of, I felt so much uh, sympathy and this kind of, you know, uh, niceness for um, the character, of course, of Mrs. Wilberforce and, um, you know, she is, of course, you know, um, unaware at first, um, you know, of the kind of um, plans and the fact that these are, um, you know, these, these members are kind of committing this bank heist. Um, as we know, it's this kind of security van um, around King's Cross um, station that, you know, is actually, um, you know, we have that from the kind of um, heist is, um, you know, using this van and uh, then, of course, concealing um, the, the funds and um, you know, storing them in the cases, um, you know, of the actual instruments and uh, just genius um, way in which this is kind of um, revealed. Um, but yes, we have the heist very early on and, um, you know, kind of after that, the slow, gradual, um, you know, kind of um, suspecting, um, you know, Mrs. Wilberforce um, kind of catches onto this and um, we have this dramatic irony um, in a variety of different ways, um, layers upon layers, um, you know, really, um, we have her kind of, um, you know, suspecting some things and uh, at times the characters don't know this, um, but they kind of, they are kind of onto that as well and um, we have as well um, the dramatic irony of, um, you know, the fact that this did actually happen, uh, but in the end, of course, the police um, do not believe Mrs. Wilberforce, um, even though she actually tells them the truth, uh, you know, kind of says this money there, and they, 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 they um, the fact that they do not believe her at all, they actually say, just keep the money, um, you know, all these different moments, um, just genius, genius moments uh, in this film, and I think just um, the script um, is on point, you know, it's one of the best one of the best comedy scripts, really, um, that I've ever kind of um, seen in the film, and uh, it'd be great to kind of uh, read this actually um, and really go through it because it's so um, so on point. You know, just the characters of depth, um, but you know, all these different situations and uh, the kind of arrangement of um, the kind of story beats and how um, you know the twists and turns kind of um, come about, um, the structure of this film, and uh, just um, you know, just kind of. These, these different lines as well that the characters have um, that are just so, at times a very wacky film, but it's so kind of um, well controlled, um, the comedy, it never goes too far. And um, my only issue really, um, it's, a, it's a slight, um, is the actual heist itself, um, around 10 minutes, I, I kind of, um, you know, I guess, or 
10 minutes or so, um, as I say, fairly early on um, in the film. Uh, that's the part that really isn't quite um, for me up to the um, to the kind of um, quality and enjoyment levels of the rest of the film. Other than that, you know, just, um, you know, other than that kind of portion of the film, it's just literally um, masterful, really, um, throughout. And just, I cared so much about these characters. Um, of course, Mrs. Wilberforce, um, it's this lovely kind of interaction, um, you know, interactions in the film. The warmth um, that she kind of shows and um, just this very pleasant um, film. And um, at the same time, it has this dark moments and uh, this whole kind of narrative, um, you know, all these different characters, um, they all die um, in the end. And, uh, you know, of course, Mrs. Wilberforce, um, you know, in this film makes it out. And, um, you yeah, know, it's just, I love how the film opens with her and ends with her as well. And, um, you know, actual ending to this film, I was just smiling, um, you know, just um, oddly satisfying, even though most of the cast um, have been dispatched um, through their own doings and stuff, you know, kind of this feeling of karma, um, you know, in the film that runs throughout. But yes, uh, even though they're basically all killed off and um, this is a comedy and we have all our main characters really um you know not making it out i i, I did feel this kind of um overwhelming feeling um the very satisfying um you know just a uh, lovely feeling that she did uh, you know mrs wilberforce make it out and um you know she also yes um you know just the way in which she interacts at the end uh, with the different um you know the police members as well um it's just very very warm uh, i find and just a wonderful kind of um, use of music as well at the end and uh, the way she kind of as we know you know she walks off um through the street that's just you know such a, a wonderful kind of moment um the way that's put together the ending sequence and um, just ending as well the house um the, the shots there of the house um you know with this you know this 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 madness takes place um you know it's such a legendary film this um i found um just the kind of introduction, as I say, of these different characters um, coming into the house. Um, you know, it's just so great to see, um, you know, and just all their reveals, um, that the way in which these characters are introduced. It's just great writing, great acting, and uh, of course, the editing here, um, you know, it's just so wonderful to see. And uh, yeah, they all have their own kind of um, moments to shine, these characters, um, in this main five. And um, also, we have different characters as well, um, friends, of course, of. Um, Mrs. Wilberforce um, coming into the film as well at one point, and they they're kind of um, as well unaware that these you know characters um, you know are who they are. As I say, the uses, the techniques here, um, cinematic techniques, and uh, just uh, from a writing standpoint, um, you know it's just so well done. Um, this and just all these devices and um, you know stuff just to kind of um, keep me so invested throughout the film. And um, you know it's just moments in this that I was just kind of. I was in awe of this, um, how this came together and um, the situations, um, you know, in this film and how, you know, it's just um, all these different close calls, um, you know, it's laughter, um, but at the same time we have moments where you're laughing, um, well, I was nervous laughter through the tension, uh, you know, just all these different close calls, um, you know, who to, who to root for, um, that's the kind of question as well, it's got this odd kind of feeling at times and just, you know, all these characters I say, um, they're so well developed, um, but they have a mystery to them, uh, especially I feel, um, well, Professor Marcus, um, but also Louis, um, played by Herbert Lom, um, you know, he really keeps up um, the kind of mystery, um, you know, we don't really know, um, you know, his, what's going on in his mind, um, and just, you know, he is very unhinged, of course, and uh, he is, in the end, um, the one that really goes insane and tries to, um, you know, kill these other characters, um, you know, just, I love how, um, you know, Herbert Lom plays this character, um, potentially, you know, his, his greatest performance that I've seen actually as well, and uh, just, wow, um, a very, very uh, disturbing character, um, just his acting throughout is just amazing in this film, and uh, I think Alec Guinness as well, um, just this very strange character, um, you know, again, the, the sense of wonder and mystery to him it is kept as well, um, you know, all the way to the end, and just his demise, and um, I must say that is one of the best, um, I, I must say, deaths, um, you know, of a character that I've seen as well, you know, the way, just, wow. What I love about this film as well, um, you know, and I admire so much about this, um, is the final act in, in the way in which um, we have, you know, at times I, I feel, uh, sometimes uh, comedies can uh, kind of perhaps go too far and, and you know, in the final act and uh, maybe lose the sense of uh, investment. Um, you know, just a variety of comedies, um, of course, not every single comedy um, kind of, uh, I guess, uh, keeps up a particular sense of investment. Um, perhaps sometimes uh, a comedy could go too far, um, just a potential, of course. Um, you know, it's just happened with a few comedies that I've seen, uh, but this one here, it keeps um, the level of, um, 
you know, kind of patience, I guess, and it doesn't go too far um, and uh, it keeps that investment. And in fact, it kind of amps it up. And um, I guess, you know, the final act, I was, you know, at my most um, invested that I'd been in the film and uh, just to see um, the way in which things are kind of, um, you know, crazy in the final act, uh, I'm trying to say, but they're not too far. Um, they're so well controlled, um, all these different sequences, um, variety of different characters here, um, all kind of going off, um, you know, each other and, um, you know, different characters getting killed and uh, just, um, you know, kind of twists and turns, double crosses, of course, um, you know, this kind of, the sense of paranoia that I love as well in this film, uh, you know, all kind of comes together in the end, um, here in this final act, and um, that's when the characters really act out this, um, I guess, this kind of paranoia, and, um, you know, they can't trust each other, um, so they kind of just um, kill each other, um, I guess, and um, it all kind of goes um, against what was um, what was planned, um, you know, it all goes wrong for them, and in the end we have um, the only survivor being, um, you know, of this actual, you know, main um, plot being Mrs. Wilberforce, and um, it's just, you know, such a, a kind of genius story, this, um, of course, William Rose, um, you know, uh, his story, um, just such a great one, and um, I just love, um, you know, how this can offer so much um, for different comedic situations, but also a very human um, story, I feel, and, um, you know, very tragic, um, uh, but it ends so wonderfully, um, complex emotions, but in the end, you know, just, um, you know, just kind of such an uplifting um, kind of ending um, that I, I just really um, responded to and um, to see Mrs. Wilberforce um, kind of make it out and um, just the way in which um, we have her kind of, um, it's just this kind of um, this sense of irony um, you know, to this um, and just the way in which the police do not believe her um, and just say, you know, just, just take the money, um, keep the money and, um, you know, it's just such a kind of a brilliant moment um, in writing and um, it's so well earned, you know, we have throughout the entire film, um, you know, all these different characters, the interactions, um, the relationships growing and um, so complex as well. Uh, but, you know, just to see how this film um, kind of builds at first, you know, the patience um, in the writing, um, you know, just in the in the acting and, um, you know, how these, yeah, how these actors are playing these characters. Um, it's just so, so well done. And uh, all these characters you know, one round is this kind of lovable character as well, very bumbling character, and uh, we have even just, um, you know, Louis um, being very, very menacing, you know, very dark and twisted, uh, but, you know, I loved all these characters, um, of course, it was great to see as well um, Peter Sellers um, in one of his early roles, and, um, yeah, I guess this is definitely one of my favourite, um, among my favourite Peter Sellers films, and um, just legendary, really, um, as I say, my only slight of the film um, is the actual heist itself, um, while I did find um, you know some hilarious moments in there um, it just wasn't quite up to the um, the level of the rest of the film um, and uh, you know, around 10 or so minutes of the film and perhaps you know slightly flat um, in, in different moments and I think um, a bit more potential there for um, even greater comedy um, you know but other than that kind of heist um, you know the actual heist itself and, and around that kind of moment there um, really this is just uh, you know a masterful comedy and um, overall a truly great film uh, for me, and definitely on my favourites list. Um, this is, you know, going on, you know, on my list of favourites, especially, you know, just um, this is just one of my favourite comedies, really. Um, and uh, just what a film this is! Um, you know, so kind of human. Um, you know, it's got these tragic elements in the film. Um, you know, just many complexities, um, but it's just a hilarious, um, at times surreal, but very, very grounded overall um, comedy film. And um, just using using this story um, to kind of creates suspense, um, you know, very, a variety of techniques um, used in this film, dramatic irony, um, you know, especially, and, um, you know, to create suspense, though, you know, this this level of tension that runs um, throughout different moments, and comedy as well, and, um, you know, some great, great moments, you know, of action, really, as well, um, in the final act, um, that stay in tune um, with the kind of um, rest of the film. It doesn't lose the sense of, you know, the lady killers um, up until this point. It really keeps you know, with the spirit of the film and, um, you know, it's just kind of the way in which um, these characters are, you know, dispatched in the end, um, you know, it's a very human way it's done, very tragic, very felt and um, not just kind of brushed aside. Um, it starts off very, very light and um, very much a full-on comedy, um, but it just builds and builds and it kind of becomes this legendary um, and very affecting film, actually, very touching film. But it's just so much going on um, throughout this very, very short running time, uh, you know, for around 90 minutes, uh, but there's so much packed into this and, um, you know, it's a comedy, of course, 
but it's so um, you know so much depth in these characters, um, the themes that run throughout this, and uh, I love just seeing how um, in, in you know such a unique way, of course, um, you know while being a comedy, how um, this kind of desperation, uh, the theme of desperation, uh, kind of plays out and um, you know through these characters and. You know, in the end, um, you know, you could say paranoia, of course, um, but, you know, it's desperation um, that causes these characters um, to all kind of kill each other. And um, in the end, no one um, is successful. And, um, you know, it's just very, very, um, you know, brutal, of course. Um, but, you know, there is this um, sense of, you know, at least um, Mrs. Wilberforce, you know, it, it's fine in the end. And, she, you know, she makes it out and um, a lovely, lovely ending. Um, but, you know, so it's so interesting, this film, and uh, just this kind of... Um, this theme of um, deception, I guess, um, for many of the different characters, um, of course, the main five um, heist members, um, but also, you know, kind of, um, not just um, kind of trying to deceive um, in everyone else, including Mrs. Wilberforce, but themselves as well, and how they kind of turn on each other, uh, especially, of course, Louis, um, as I say, you know, he is really, really um, the kind of, um, the one who, who kind of, um, you know, it's very, very menacing. He is a real threat, and um, you know, I guess you know things turn very dark. Um, but it really um, uniquely kind of keeps. Um, it maintains a particular level of um, comfort. Um, you know, I do um, gradually more and more um, for every kind of moment of the film uh, get so attached to these characters um, that you know when they do um, or you know die, it's very, very tragic. Um, but it keeps the kind of um, very uniquely the spirit. Um, you know, and very. Just a very charming, uh, wacky film, and um, you know, in the end, I get so many emotions from this. Uh, it's just a genius film, really. Um, you know, in its, com in its comedy and um, also the kind of um, the tragic elements of this, and um, you know, being a comedy thriller, um, it's just using tension, um, you know, for investment, um, but just as well um, for comedy. And it's this kind of um, this line, of course, that is blurred at times, um, but it's this kind of nervous laughter that I get from it. And uh, it's just, it's so, so great, this film. Um, you know, as I say, there is one slight really, and um, that's mainly around the kind of the actual heist itself. Other than that, you know, absolutely love this film. And my final rating for The Lady Killers, um, the original 1955 version is a 97%. Yes, indeed, um, absolutely adored this film and um, this is easily one of my favourite um, kind of comedy films, um, you know, certainly one of my favourites and, um, you know, every single, um, you know, cast member, um, Cecil Parker, um, you know, very uh, unique character that he played um, and just, you know, uh, Danny Green, um, of course, Peter Sellers, um, Herbert Lom, as we said uh, many times in this review, um, so, so great and, of course, Alec Guinness, um, but of course, Katie Johnson, um, you know, it's kind of um, it's such, such a great uh, kind of performance as well. Mrs. Wilberforce, um, you know, is, is the heart of the film, really. And, um, you know, it's just these interactions between all of these different characters um, and just the kind of the spirit of the film. Um, you know, it's a dark film at times, but it's so uplifting to see. And um, just this lovely, charming film, um, absolutely amazing, this film. Uh, really a stunning piece of cinema and um, just this script. The editing, um, the direction by McKendrick um, you know, is mostly uh, masterful here. Um, absolutely, um, you know, wow, what, what, what a filmmaker. Um, I've not seen any of his other works um, yet, but I cannot wait. And, um, you know, I have read um, a book, uh, you know, on film uh, by McKendrick, a very famous one, um, you know, on filmmaking. Um, but, you know, other than, you know, I've not seen um, any of his other works, you know, his films and, uh, you know, just... Yes, um, this was my first, and wow, what a um, what a wonderful film! And I just cannot wait um, to check out, of course, the rest of his works. But just as well, you know, kind of um, Eating Studios films. Uh, I can't wait to see them. Um, you know, all of these ones, and just um, the different cast members, of course. Um, as always, just kind of um, you know this progression of you know seeing, for example, all of the um, Alec Guinness films, um, Peter Sellers. Um, for example, as well, and um, you just cannot wait. Um, obviously, some of my favourite actors, uh, but the entire cast here, legendary, um, really. As I say, the only main slight, um, you know, is around the actual heist itself. Um, but other than that, you know, I really um, absolutely adore this film, and um, you know, it's certainly, um, as I say, one of, you know, my favourite um, comedy films. Um, you know, absolutely stunning film, and uh, just. Yeah, just such a legendary film, this uh, wonderful experience, and um, so feel good, so feel good. Um, wow, just just amazing, and um, this, you know, this band, um, you know, kind of posing as this band, um, we shall say, um, you know, kind of um, all different, you know, kind of character traits, you know, uh, of 
within this group and uh, just kind of trying to fool um, this woman uh, but of course none of them making it out um, what a genius um, film at times this is and a great story as we say um, by William Rose and um, just wonderfully directed this film uh, the actors of course just a legendary film a comedy thriller um, drama of course um, just, um, you know, just w what a film this is. Um, so unique and uh, just so, um, a film that I really, really love um, personally. Um, so there we have it, we'll wrap up. Um, you know, just just a great experience. And uh, yes, um, The Lady Killers from 1955, um, among my favorite comedies, um, no doubt. And uh, just, I'll certainly be um, looking forward to seeing this again, um, hopefully um, fairly soon actually. Just um, <laughs> what a great film um, this is and just, Yes, um, just just a it's just a, just a magical experience, um, really. And uh, yes, what do you think of this film? Uh, it'd be so so great to hear. And um, we can talk, from, you know, from, uh, from this film, we can talk about other different you know things. You know, the different actors in this film, perhaps. Um, you know, all the different actors, uh, of course, Alec Guinness, um, Peter Sellers, um, all the different films we can kind of um, discuss and just. Um, but yeah, yeah, specifically. It'd be great to hear your thoughts on this film, um, very unique, um, but of course it is, you know, a loved film and, um, you know, it's, it's great to kind of finally see this film and, um, yeah, it'd be great to discuss um, with your viewers um, your, your thoughts on this film and, uh, you know, it's such a, you know, it's a film I really, really love, um, so I look forward to massively um, discussing, you know, this in, in the comments, uh, and, you know, going from there, um, so yes, um, that's it for now, uh, we'll wrap up and, you know, um, of course, more reviews coming uh, you know, over the next week, um, quite a few. Uh, I've got some free time, um, a bit more free time at least. And uh, yes, look forward to um, all these different reviews, um, videos um, that I'm doing. And yes, as always, take care and thanks for watching.